demo, we're looking at an overdrive pedal that takes its inspiration from a film projector. Specifically, this film projector, the Bell & Howell Filmer Sound. As unique as its origin story is, I give you the all-new Walrus Audio 385 Overdrive. Very simple controls, check it out. Looks awesome as well. We've got two sets of volume and gain controls, look. One here and one here, and you can access those by toggling the A, B switch, effectively giving you two channels. The single tone control that the original projector had has been split out, so we have a bass and a treble control here. And you also have this little toggle switch here, which in the up position gives you access to another gain stage. So a really unique pedal, and I really love it for those kind of straight into the mixing desk style tones, ranging from mild, clean, right the way through overdrive and into fuzz, all with a really amp-like feel. So let's check out some tones. So first up, my amp tone without the pedal, as ever, same settings. <laughs> And in the intro you heard me playing Exhausted by Foo Fighters, here's the settings. Great tone, isn't it? Now for most of the settings in this video, I'm going to be using channel A. So you'll see the gain and the volume on the left hand side of the pedal being used and the bass and the treble as well. But I am going to show you an example where I use both A and B for a particular band called Spoon. But I'll call it out when I get to that point. Next up, let's do some Nirvana, shall we? And there's a very specific Nirvana song, which I believe was uh, direct into the console, and that is Territorial Pissing. This goes a bit like this. <laughs> show you the difference between the 385 and the 385 plus setting. Uh, the 385 plus has an extra gain stage, but um, I was using that for the Nirvana one, right? And I just had the gain up full. So you still get, you know, a huge amount of um, fuzz, really. I mean, it goes way beyond overdriving straight into fuzz, which is awesome. But if you check these settings out, we're going to go for a bit of Radiohead body snatchers. <laughs> And if I don't change anything else, I'm just going to flick on the 385 plus. We have loads more gain on tap. And again, the gain's only at nine o'clock there, right? There's still a load of note clarity going on there. You know, you can hear all those notes. Man, that has got some character. Next up, let's try some humbuckers. But I've gone for a fairly extreme EQ setting. So I've cranked the treble and I've turned the, the bass all the way down. And I think it's a really good tone for the Beatles revolution. Single coils next, and we're going to look at these settings with some Led Zeppelin. Black Dog and No Quarter both, I think, share a very similar tone. So Black Dog first. <laughs> Such a great tune. All that good stuff. And then for no quarter. Now 
in the next example, we're going to be looking at Spoon, the hardest cut, and I'm going to be using both sides of the pedal for two different guitar parts. So the gain on channel A is set to basically uh, 9 o'clock, and then on channel B I've got it set to 3 o'clock, okay? So the difference being... <laughs> So quite a substantial difference, but there is a huge difference in the two guitar parts. So the main part goes a bit like this. You know, all that good stuff. Really nice tone. But then there's a section that we hear. That going on, right? And there, I'm going to change to channel B. And then you back in, right? You'll also hear some incidental stuff peppered through it, which goes... Just basic things like that. along with works really effectively so it's superb that you can get both of those guitar parts just in the one pedal next up some solo stuff so i've put it on to the 385 plus mode and um, with these settings we're going to have a little look at goodbye to love by the carpenters it's got a banging solo in it one two three <laughs> Something like that. Next up with these settings, the Heroes Chorus has a lead line in it with a really cool tone like this. If we use Neck Pickup... So I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'm going to play you out with Huskadoo, New Day Rising, with everything in the middle. Mm -hmm.